Welcome, in front of me I have M8 Fit Bip 6 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the lower button. Keep holding the button until the watch vibrates or until you see the MH Fit logo on the screen. Okay. My watch vibrated, so I'm gonna release the button, and after that, the Amazfit logo, Amazfit logo should appear on the screen, and the watch will boot up in a few seconds. And once it boots up, you will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen, find the language you would like to use on your watch, and then tap on it to select it and apply it. And here, tap on the check mark, and you will see the QR code, which means we need to download and install the Zep application on the iPhone we want to pair our watch with. Go to your iPhone, make sure you have the uh, internet, uh, not this page, this page, oh, wait, oh, here. You have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you have both, open the App Store on your iPhone, uh, tap on the search icon, tap on the search bar, and type in Zep with two Ps at the end, and then tap on search. And you should see this application, Zep, with this icon. You can tap on the get button to download and install it, and I'm gonna come back to you when it's done installing because I believe it will take a while because internet here is not that great. So I'm gonna be back when, when it's done installing. Okay, the app is done installing, so we can tap on the open button to open it. In the application, you will need to log in into a Macefit account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on sign up right here, make a new one and then uh, login, but I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on login, enter the email address and password, and tap on login, of course. So give me a few seconds. Okay, tap on login. Oh, apparently the password is wrong, which is interesting. Let's see now. This time it worked, I think. Okay, and after you log in, you will see pop-ups about the permissions. For example, the location permission, you can allow it or deny it. I'm gonna allow it. This one, the Bluetooth devices is required, so allow it. And then we have the notification permission. It's not required, but if you want to receive the notifications, from your iPhone on your watch, you will need to allow it. But if you don't care, you can uh, deny it. Then I'm gonna tap not now, and you should see the home page. Now tap on device icon, tap on watch, tap on agree, allow the required permission. It will open the camera app, and what you need to do is to tap, point the iPhone's camera on the watch to scan the QR code. So pick up your phone, point the camera at the watch, and now it will start the pairing process. Tap on pair, allow, tap on the check mark on the watch. Here tap next, we can enable the uh, option to Call the contact, so basically you have a contact list on your iPhone. If you don't care, you can skip it. If you want to enable it, tap on enable and tap on continue. And here you can basically select the contacts you want to add to the list. Uh, and once you select the contact, tap on continue. Then tap on allow selected contacts. It will be on the contact list. And you can then use it, use your watch to call those contacts on your phone. And here we have the calendar sync. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications about the calendar events on your watch. If you don't care, you can skip it. If you want to enable it, tap on enable and allow the full access. Here you can se select pre pre uh, preferred uh, button orientation. Basically, you can have them on the right side or on the left side. All it does is basically flips the screen around, uh, I believe. Yeah. So if you select left, it will flip the screen around and then you will have the buttons on the left. If you select right, it will flip the screen like this and you will have the buttons on the right. 
and then you can tap on next. Done, done. And you should see the uh, BIP6, your BIP6 on the device page now. And if you go to your watch, it should be uh, ready to use. Come on, go back. Okay. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video. Thank you.